Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to this week's Europass Talk. I am Susan Galliano. I'm a head teacher trainer here, counselor and educator. And I am currently speaking from a different location today from the beautiful Lake Garda region here in Italy. And if you've never been to Lake Garda, hmm, you might want to think about doing one of the Europass courses in the beautiful city of Verona. And so then you're only about 25 minutes away from this absolutely magnificent part of the world. And today I'm super excited because I'm ready to learn a lot of new things. I have invited Alessandro Pumpo, he can come on in, and we are going to talk about he. <laughs> this man, he's a kind of a he's a kind of a tech wizard. All right, he's the guy that everyone wants to have working at their school uh, or have nearby because he is their your problem solver, and is the guy also who has so much experience with this and so many creative ideas. And so, Alessandro, you are Hello. joining us from the beautiful city of Barcelona. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. I am from <laughs> Barcelona. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Yes, from sunny Barcelona. This um, first day of summer is incredible bloom of colors and, um, you know, let's say a little spark of back of normality in Barcelona. So we are excited, you know, so we're excited about our world courses as well, our school and our city and uh, good energies, good energies. Because um, for anyone who doesn't know Alessandro, Alessandro has uh, has been working uh, with Europass for many years. Um, he and Marta Mandolini, I guess you could say, and Federica, um, you are really heading the team there at in um, the Barcelona branch of uh, Europass. And you are the lucky ones, right? to be in that wonderful, eclectic, fascinating city. And um, I think maybe maybe this was part of the reason why you are such an interesting, uh, very, you have so many different interests. And I wonder if the fact that you're born in Italy, but living in this city, and obviously a very, a good example of what um, Erasmus means. Hmm? Uh, someone yes. who's trying around and is very comfortable in many different uh, cultures and locations. And you know why I invited you here today, Alessandro, because I know, and I've just been able to take a look at an amazing ebook that you authored. And I would love for you to tell, how did you get this idea to put together an ebook, right? I mean, just amazing. First of all, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, definitely. I mean, thanks for the introduction as well, and thanks for from all our team as well, from Marta, which is she started uh, all the process here in Barcelona for the campus in Barcelona, Federica and many other trainers that uh, are um, part of uh, Europass uh, Barcelona. Uh, yes, but the guide, uh, let's say that uh, the guide is a, let's say, just a product of uh, uh, many, many years of experience. Uh, in the field. Uh, yes, with, uh, I work um, as a consultant in um, different uh, organizations and uh, I do uh, used to work as well in Italy, I, mean, I still work in Italy uh, in different uh, uh, universities and uh, some uh, uh, schools for, uh, as a guest uh, professor, etc. And basically, uh, since I work uh, with Europass, uh, the training the trainers as our main uh, goal and uh, mission as well since 2017, uh, was just um, selecting uh, all the new trends and uh, in technology, but not only in technology, let's say that uh, just the point of iceberg uh, using apps and uh, websites, uh, uh, software, etc., to uh, implement, improve the quality of teaching and mm -hmm. the quality of learning as well. And so it's uh, basically the digital publishing was the only way to give uh, I mean, the digital publishing, yes, it's, a, it's an e-book, but it can be printed. It can become a real book, actually. So it's a hybrid, let's say. It's an e-book, of course. You, you will find in our section, maybe after I can share the screen in our section, uh, teacheracademy.europe 
um, Absolutely. Um, online, exactly, online academy, and then there is MOOC self-paced courses, and uh, you can find that, that is, uh, teachers can find uh, our book there. So why a it's book? Yes, it's the first. Uh, Alessandro, so the teachers can access this book without even right now. We will put it in the comments section, and they can take a look at it and uh, and use it. Uh, yes, use it, or maybe you know find a way to. Uh, to get the, um, to get the, uh, the subscription to the website uh, to the Moodle a platform, which is connected with uh, Europa's uh, Teacher Academy line, and yes, basically uh, the book is a is a form, the only form, let's say, to bring together all this information. Because since um, smartphone exists today, uh, since two thousand eight, basically uh, there is more on more than three hundred thousand apps uh, available. Uh, actually, me, near a million, but let's say on education, more than 50,000, near 100,000 apps in EduTech. Mm -hmm. Some of them. Did you say, did you say more than 100,000 apps that we can yeah, use? That was in the Apple store as well, uh, let's say last year, and they give numbers uh, in, in front of us. Uh, of the, uh... Sorry, can you hear me? Mm, unfortunately, Sorry, I lost you for a second. Yes, unfortunately, it's um, you're coming and going a little bit. I think we'll Can be okay. Oh, well, it looks like we're having a little trouble with Alessandro's line, his signal. Okay. Yes, Listen. yes, now I can hear you. Hmm. Alessandro, if you want, maybe you can go out and come back in. Marta, is sweet internet. Okay, so we'll just take a little break here there for a moment. Um, one thing that I definitely wanted to uh, tell the teachers that are watching. First of all, I would like to know where you are watching from. And I would also like to know uh, if your school year has officially ended, meaning if you um, if your students are now home, maybe you are still going to school. But if you are uh, home from school and you finished up the year, just let me know if you uh, if you have really gotten through this year or not. And just let us know where you're watching us from. Ale, please. Hello. Hello Hi, again. Yes, it's okay. We always have plenty of things to talk about with our uh, audience here at Europass, so do not worry. So um, what uh, what would you say motivated you to tackle such a big project? I mean, what is it that, you know, you put together uh, information from years and years of, uh, of your yeah. experience? Yeah, let's say a sense of uh, gift, you know, uh, that uh, I collect. Uh, all this information, I see, um, I trained more than 1,400 1, teachers in 2000, between 2018 and 2019. Uh, so, and before as well, we have a lots of teachers come in our campus. So we knew, uh, we know uh, which, which are the needs of a teacher today from primary school, from kindergarten or secondary school. So based on these needs, we build this guide. It's actually, it's in Europe, uh, it's quite original, uh, you, quite unique project, let's say that in a nice graphic way, very easy to use, uh, nice uh, user um, pay with pages, with description, the age, divided with age, uh, if it's free or not, and uh, divided by sections as well, uh, different section from uh, arts, uh, assessments, uh, uh, back channels, and many others, you know, information, uh, digital portfolios and so on, you know. So it helps uh, as well the teacher or moving in this jungle, let's say, you know. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, because it's a jungle. There are so many, uh, you hear of so many different ideas. Um, yeah. Sometimes we find ourselves uh, spending so much time either looking for uh, the right thing 
or uh, like I said in the in the description of our talk, even um, sometimes being a little afraid to try them. Um, not sure if, uh, for example, um, how it how it really would would look like in a classroom. And I think there are a lot of teachers. I, I realize that lots of times it's better to limit yourself so you're not introducing lots of different apps to your students that would disorient them. But at this point, people have really gained a tremendous amount of experience and the students themselves are, are, are much quicker than we are. Definitely, yes. And this is the point. Uh, basically, the guide itself is, uh, is okay, but uh, as well, teachers must understand will be improved as well in the next six months for 2022 as well with methods as well which the guide itself it's okay i mean use technology but beside of pedagogy and human experience that's very important if we use only technology without human experience we don't go anywhere we don't bring innovation i mean the uh, the desire the drive me to create this ebook and uh, as well in my uh, in my courses as well which i offer uh, to train uh, uh, the teachers as well is, is very important the idea uh, to uh, to create an environment in the classroom, you know, to let the student express themselves. So I always say that the guide is interesting, but the, the, the contents inside the guide is for the students, basically. So most of right. the teachers will say, yes, but what I don't want to use this one because maybe it's difficult. Try is the first, is the key, experiment. And second key is let students express themselves, you know? So that's very important because once you give these tools to the students, uh, it depends from primary school, secondary school, of course, but uh, the methods are very important as well. Methods which today brings innovation into the education, which is very important. Uh, kind of a new figure of a teacher of the new century is, uh, is basically, uh, the millennium is about, uh, uh, is about uh, bringing a, uh, fresh uh, creative ideas as well, creativity into into classroom to inspire imagination to let the student become leaders of tomorrow. You know, so that's the the impulse. You know, that the mission of of a teacher today, and it's not only technology. Repeat, but it's technology with all this holistic approach that we need to bring inside education today. And uh, this is happening in the top schools. Uh, to develop hot skills in students, which is a uh, high order thinking skills. But in the mainstream schools, because for a curriculum problem, fixed curriculum, they, some teachers, they cannot go out from certain amount of uh, topics outside of the curriculum, etc. Uh, we've been blocking sometimes our students. So the system in, into education, as well as the European uh, address, political address and educational address, which is an, in, in a new way, especially now after the COVID, we see the resi resilience plan as well for the next generation, a European of the next generation, needs to improve uh, teachers, needs to improve this skill, teacher as a coach, teacher, a teacher as a leader, teacher as a mentor, which bring a, a more inspiration to the student, a fresh idea, a holistic approach to bring innovation in the classroom. So they gain the a technology without the human experience, without methods, sometimes doesn't work. And we will bring some new methods, which is, which I was, uh, which I, I will, uh, I will introduce as well, maybe in another talks as well. It's about scamper techniques, uh, design thinking, and many other very important methods to work with the students and uh, uh, using technology, we, where technology is only uh, the point of the iceberg behind. Uh, the use of technology or gamification or learning with fun, edutainment, education and the, the entertainment mm -hmm. together, or education and edupre, edupreneur as well, education and the entrepreneurship, inspiring students to become who they are one day, you know, to come to university, to be, uh, become, uh, to, to come to university and the word university is universe versus one, find yourself, you know, so. This is the point that I always insist, you know, we need to prepare our students to become who they are, you know, become unique, unique to university. Absolutely, Alessandro. And so, I mean, what, okay, is, is there a specific tool that you are uh, particularly excited about? I don't know. I mean, I know there's so much, but is there something that you're, um, you know, what that you find particularly exciting and why? 
Yeah, let's say that on the on the on the guide as well on the tools that uh, I, I I use for uh, my uh, my activities as well uh, for uh, teacher training. Uh, basically, it depends from the grade level and uh, and the subject and the topics. But let's say most of the the the, um, the tools that I select in different areas are for any grade level, any subject. Of course, it depends again because uh, we need to see uh, the difference. There is a. Uh, uh, some uh, uh, some uh, apps that works better for a primary school or kindergarten. There is other apps that works better for the secondary school, you know, for teenagers. Mm -hmm. That's very important. If you're talking about STEM, for example, science. I'm very passionate about science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, you know, and maker space as well. So this area is an area that integrating arts and humanities into uh, science or any other subject is. Uh, let's say, a, a, a must today. Yes, if, you want to become, if people want to become an uh, innovator teacher, a new teacher, you know, with this, uh, with this approach, basically. It's a process, never happened from one day to another, is a process, which is start today, I always say, and is an adventure, which is start today and is developing day by day, month, week by week, month by month, year by year with your <laughs> students, with your students. A growing mindset as well. That's very yeah. important. You, know? you will see the difference once you use, I repeat, not only the tools, but using as well uh, methods to work together within, within the students and uh, create, a, uh, you will see the difference basically, create a new environment basically. Because let's say creativity or, uh, is not only crea create, create, create. Uh, something about art, etc. Creativity means as well, create a new environment. In yes, so, absolutely. I mean, even, even when you're incorporating aspects of, uh, you know, with, with the, the stuff, some of the stuff that I get so excited about when we talk about how to, how to um, create a safe environment for children, a, a, an environment where they feel that they can take risks, um, they could take a certain amount of, um, let's say, academic risks. They can also experiment and they can also take some social risks because let's be honest, if a child is um, feeling very uncomfortable in the classroom environment because there's a lot of bullying or because you, know, you get made fun of every time you get, make, you get an answer wrong, because, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, the teachers are not able to manage these kinds of dynamics. You can bring all of the tech in the world and you are not going to really reach those students. And this is um, where you and I completely um, are, are, you know, on the same wavelength. It's like, first, we need to think about um, our process. And tech at that point becomes another amazing tool that opens up possibilities that we did not have. And what would you say to teachers who are kind of intimidated? For example, I know that one of your courses, you talk about podcasts. I know you talk about video production. Um, and, you know, that sounds like such an amazing idea. Who is it that has not really discovered podcasts, especially during the uh, the pandemic, and you'd go for walks and listen to all kinds of fascinating yeah, content? Experience. And you can make them in school. I mean, your students can make them. And so, yeah. what would you uh, what would you say to a teacher who is like, "Oh my gosh, this sounds like so much work." Yes. Again, uh, let's say that uh, in, uh, gear and tools sometimes are expensive. Sometimes we can do with zero money. That's very important to understand mm -hmm. because there are some school that they are, they are or teachers or school that they are. Uh, very well, let's say, and they can buy uh, gear and tools, invest money in innovation. But I meet uh, other different schools which are very uh, low in technology, uh, low level, and uh, they can, with creativity and imagination, they can arrange a perfect, a beautiful um, innovation uh, classroom uh, um, uh, experience. So. Uh, using technology like STEM, we said before, but focus into the podcasting, for example, experience. We can do, it's like uh, options. We can do in a small and easy way 
without money, without time as well sometimes. So mix exactly. without, money, without money exactly. and time. We can do with the money and time or with a lot of money, no time or, or the other way around. So because as well, uh, I meet some uh, teachers from Qatar, for example, not of, only from Europe, but sometimes they have a strict curriculum, only 20 minutes on Friday, for example, Ooh. to make some free uh, experiment ideas, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, for the retention rate of the students' point of view, of, uh, let's say the students want to have fun as well sometimes. Sometimes they refuse the authority as well, you know? So we need to let them express themselves in a way, you know? <laughs> so uh, using the tools is very important. So if you have only 20 minutes, for example, to create a web radio in the classroom, a podcast, which is a beautiful experience, uh, students can express themselves. You want the feedback as a teacher, that's very important too, you can use it simple tools uh, available on uh, on internet as well like uh, in the guide but I, uh, you can use a uh, uh, online voice recorder and Canva for example uh, Canva. Canva. Mm -hmm. so podcast need two things basically what is a web radio first of all a web radio in two words to make it quick let's say we don't have much time but let's say that a podcast is a the web radio if you listen the radio radio never die you know never die and still surviving today today is a boom of audiobooks experience five years ago was the boom of youtube the next years will be a boom of audio experience why because you close your eyes and open up your imagination mm -hmm. the radio experience the audiobook experience you can do a web radio in the classroom with uh, an audiobook with a talk show with a documentary you can experiment many things around the radio concept a webcast radio or an art cast if you teach art or if you teach math cast if you teach mathematic cast you know a broadcast of your subject you know mm -hmm. uh, art cast or math cast or science cast you know whatever we put put a way you know to say to express our subject whatever subject whatever uh, whenever um, any grade level is available those those tools without investing money because again podcast a web radio needs two things the voice and the music of course and and a, a graphic a graphic to create a beautiful like let's say our old vinyls uh, the vinyls the old 45s you know records uh, the web radio online needs uh needs basically the cover which is a graphic and an audio uh, an audio file with the music possible, you know, because when you listen to the radio, you listen, uh, you listen the music and you listen people talks as well, you know, sometimes with the music on the background, etc. So there is a software, there are different software that uh, you can use directly with the microphone, even recording audio with a, with a, with a telephone and uh, using uh, Canva.com, which is a software to create a graphic or any any apps for as well to for a mobile phone to create uh, editing pictures and upload them in one place. One place it can be this is why uh, it can be Mixcloud, it can be Podbean.com, it can be Soundtrap, etc. So this is why I say insist that uh, EduTech is a, like a puzzle. Integrate all the apps and the software. They integrate each other like a puzzle. You create your shape, your form. Again, with no time sometimes, with no money, or with the time with the money, it depends uh -huh. on you. There is a, an important thing that I want to express as well, is the will of the teacher that has, must ask themselves every day, what they do every day to bring innovation into my classroom, what they do, a big poster in the teacher room, you know, what they do every day. So to what remind- have I, What have I done to bring some innovation to my yeah. classroom? Because this is helps the student podcast. Apparently, if we study Romeo and Juliet or maybe Pythagora, it's just an idea uh, to say why I need to bring a podcast maybe on Friday for 20 minutes. Because maybe you can use before, during, or after a topics to get feedback, quick feedback. Maybe they can use an in the flipped classroom method from home. They come back on the they go to study in the library and they come back to the classroom and rediscuss with the with the podcast experience, yes, to let them express themselves, first of all, using music as well sometimes. And also it's very important from the point of view of retention rates, where you use audiovisual is a fact that on the pyramid of learning, audiovisual is 50% improving uh, the retention rate. So if we Absolutely. want to change 
the leader of, if a teacher wants to shape the leader of tomorrow, we say university versus one, find yourself, we need to let the student give some tools to express themselves, to create a unique way to uh, give a synthesis as well of what is this topic or what the other topics to teach each other the, between the students and to open a debate around a Pythagora, about the, about the triangles of uh, uh, geometry or uh, science or uh, humanities or languages as well. So using so podcast is very easy, nice and uh, very engaging. Uh, it sounds like it. I I'm I would love to do it. I would love to do more of this. And I have to. And I realize that one of the biggest obstacles um, is uh, sometimes, like you said, uh, for some schools think that uh, they are under a certain amount of pressure uh, in more traditional classroom environments where it seems like if your kids are uh, out expressing themselves, you're not working. You know, there's this idea that the the, the classroom, um, you know, a productive classroom is a quiet classroom with a teacher that's at the front and everyone is, uh, you know, busy taking notes or working on exercises. And what you're suggesting is much more of, you know, the teacher uh, as, a, uh, as a designer. Yes, exactly. As an observer as well, Yes. Observer, where basically the students they find their flow, they were to express uh, the topics in a in a different way, basically in another point of view, and also increase life skills. These methods, uh, project-based learn with groups of the, uh, students outside the outside the classroom, inside the classroom, and also very important, uh, give the possibility to, uh, to the classroom and the student to innovate and to. Uh, basically to uh, to create a, a new way to 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 express you know a topics or a subject i mean it's quite it's a challenging it's challenging but it's very important to use in a regular basis i always say using a regular basis because if you use web radio you do one one program one year uh, every six months is not good you bring innovation if at the end of the year you have 12, one each month, or maybe 24, one every two weeks, episode, a collection of episodes of the podcasts online, published online on Mixcloud or Soundtrap, uh, Podbean, etc. A, collect, a beautiful collection, it's like a YouTube channel, even a collection, you know, of yes. digital, it's <laughs> digital exciting. collection. Alessandra, I just wanted to tell you that we yeah. have some people watching. We have um, Yasmina from North Macedonia and she is watching and thank you so much for being here. I, I see my friend Monica from Poland. I see Miriami from Finland. And then I see Philip from North Macedonia, mentor from Albania, Marta Mandolini. Oh, who is watching. Marta. And that really means oh, something because she's a busy I, lady. <laughs> it's hard to get her to sit still. She's yeah, like the Tanzanian yeah. devil, that woman, right? And um, so obviously this is something that a lot of people are really interested in. Do you have any good examples like in, in the teachers that you've worked with? Because we, we really need to be inspired by other people who have had our same uh, difficulties and how so somehow overcame it. And I was wondering if in your um, in in some of your teacher training, if you have come across some teachers who were able to um, bring some innovation that was you know surprising even for them, or uh, you know, and like where a traditional topic was transformed into uh, something much more innovative, as you're saying, using any of these tools. Yes, uh, I have a lot of examples because I sometimes I stay in touch with uh, with my teacher to follow yeah. them on the innovation process. Again, is a is a process. It's not something that happened today from to, uh, from today tomorrow. You know, That's something very that you deal with your classroom day by day. Except experiment, do examples. Yes, I mean uh, creating, for example, from uh, Romeo and Juliet, creating a, a rap as well. Interesting. A rap. With with some uh, apps like AutoRap by Smule. There is an app very interesting, which is auto rapping or uh, using a, a Soundtrap as a podcast um, uh, tools as well. Uh, to create, um, there is free libraries as well, online of music, etc., which uh, 
the students can download and then experiment, you know, with the, with this stuff. I have a lot of example, but uh, I cannot show for uh, privacy, you know, how methods. Uh, of course. No, but what if it, it was permits. If uh, it was, it was. Uh, that, I, that's I, another good thing. Podcasting, you know, you can choose to publish not online. You publish online, but privately, not publish for everybody. You know. Uh, yes, example of transforming uh, literature. Yes, Romeo and Juliet rap, for example. Uh, act one, you know, Romeo and Juliet are two families, you know, around etc. With auto rap by Smule is an app. It's called auto rap by Smule. Is an app on the telephone and transform the voice into um, algorithm of rap, basically. No. And it's interesting because basically you just talk, you don't make anything, you know? But this is help the students as well to even podcast, to express, listen the voice in the body and express themselves. If you use in a regular basis, the students will be one day more self-centered, more good to make a presentation, less shy sometimes. So again, technology helps in this way with the human experience and pedagogy helps to develop a better self of the idea of uh, you know of the, uh, if using in a correct way of course if it's using a way of zombie no uh, or, or maybe we students use too much technology already every day you know so we need to balance this is why podcast is a beautiful experience because yes you record on like but you stay with with you make groups you know around and then teachers they can walk around, etc., and students uh, understand better how to work in team, team buildings, uh, how to respect each other with uh, some empathy and uh, problem solving. Many things, which are all life skills, you know, uh, are very important to uh, create the values as well in the in the school and in the classroom. So I have experience as well from one school that create not a single. Uh, that's another idea. It's not a single uh, from Portugal, a school from Portugal, not a single, uh, let's say, uh, web radio in the classroom, but uh -huh. the web radio of the school, the total, the director, you know, the web school radio. What is My it? Yeah. Mm. It's like a YouTube channel. You have a series of episodes, one place centralized online, which can be Mixcloud again, .com or podbean.com or soundtrap.com. Mm -hmm. to collect all the information from the history teacher, the, the teacher from primary school talking about the dinosaurs, <laughs> another teacher talking about the Roman Juliet, they bring together uh, in different, mm, so the, in different, uh, let's say, episodes of this beautiful collection, etc. in a private environment, I repeat, not public. It can be public if the school agree to share public, so exactly. they can share the model of Facebook, etc. So it's quite yeah. Uh, because it's very, it's important to uh, important for teachers to know that that obviously uh, it can stay all within your school universe, or you could also expand it into the greater yeah. community. Yeah. Exactly. That all the time that you create with the students, uh, some teachers say to me, Alex, my students always ask me to create a, uh, another uh, when we create another episode because my teachers must create not only the podcast they say, but must create the storytelling, the inspiration, the inspiration, the factor they say, where we go this time, where we go this time, we go this time, we go to discover London with Sherlock Holmes, where we go another time, another time we go to discover Maya and Aztec in the beautiful Mexico, you know, inspiring the teacher, the students, sorry, and the students is a osmosis, you know, let's say a kind of osmosis between the students and the teacher when engage themselves and uh, inspire each other to explore uh, the classroom, uh, bringing the outside world, let's say inside the classroom as well. So bringing real experiences as well. And the podcast is if, let's say all the time in technology, not only the podcast, I repeat, because we are focused on the podcast, but we're talking about anything in the world, the galaxy and the jungle of technology, which you can find in my EduTech guide as well, or in the self-paced course, you know? Mm -hmm. So basically all this world, there is uh, always one constant, is from one point, you can go in million of direction thanks to yeah. the creativity. One single idea of the podcast, you can create a podcast, a video cast, you can create a, a documentary, a talk show, uh, interviews, uh, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You can create many, many, many things every day. Uh, one day a classroom is like a temple, you know. One day you can uh, imagination temple. One day can be uh, the classroom transforming into a documentary. Another day transforming the classroom into a talk show. Another day transforming the classroom into a magazine, a video, mag a podcast magazine, you know, an audio book, whatever, an audio magazine, an audio infographic, for example, no, an infographic. So all this information, of course, needs time. Are very important. But as it's time to let's say to discuss, but then when you create, you can create even in 20 minutes to even a quick feedback from your students. A synthesis, very the power of synthesis. So what we understand, we, we teach, uh, for example, this week Leonardo da Vinci. I want uh, as a teacher, I want a feedback. I on Friday, 20 minutes, let's create a podcast or a video cast, or an infographic audio or a video magazine or an audio magazine. Uh, or just a simple, let's say, a podcast episode with uh, five minutes, Leonardo da Vinci in five minutes, in ten minutes, a podcast See? with music, etc. Absolutely. Music, yes. you know, maybe, you know, music from the Renaissance, music, choosing the right music with the right time, you know. So it's quite nice, you know, so let's go for it. And what I love too is that you're not talking about that enormous end of the year project no. that I always say that brings teachers to the edge of burnout because they're like, what was I thinking when I started this idea? Because there's so many moving parts. But what you're talking about is something that's much more every day, incorporating it instead of asking wow. the student to write a summary of you know what we were talking about. I'm sorry, I have another phone here ringing. Um, you know, instead of doing that, you give them an opportunity to use it quickly. Alessandro, I love it. And so tell me what thing you're excited about that you're working on with um, some of your teachers these days. Sorry, can you repeat the questions? Uh, what kinds of, what are you feeling the most excited about these days in your courses? Like what have you, what inspiration have you found? Um, yeah, yes, some of our Europass uh, teachers that are coming to town. Have you seen the growth uh, thanks to this really unbelievable moment that we've uh, we've lived through in the last year and a half. Yes, has no I, yes notice that the teachers now using technology. Yes, but still uh, we are uh, on the let's say uh, at the at the um, dawn at the beginning of yes. uh, the, the digital revolution. So the pandemic is the midnight. Let's say you know the zero point, the starting point. From now on. There is a lot to discover. We will open a world of a proactive teachers, more relaxed, more happy, more fun, more light, more teachers that are more focused on their job and also uh, a new way to discover themselves as a teacher because sometimes I understand, uh, me as well, when I, I do some uh, activity as well, you understand that uh, you are overwhelmed, uh, you say before burnout or whatever, stressed, etc. We need to as well, let it go, let it flow sometimes with uh, with our students. So this is why the, the holistic approach is important, no? With our students using technology and uh, work together with the human experience to bring a, a new environment, you know? Ecology is not only uh, the environment uh, about uh, the smog or maybe the plastics, but ecology is the ecology of the mind to, to be more clear, to be more focused, more, more relaxed and more open, you know, and positive. Yeah. Oh, oh, I really technology will help us to make our life easy. That's it. And I and I can't wait for that to happen. And Alessandro, thank you so much for coming to be here with us. I'm it excited. I want to run out and I want to start reading the book immediately. And I want to start some, using some of your ideas. So yeah. thank you so thank much you. for being with us here today. Um, I believe that it was put in the comments section. Um, any teachers that want to find out more about your book. Fantastic. And um, I, I know you're a busy guy. So thank you for taking the time out. And um, next, I'm going to be here. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to be giving a webinar that's on. Um, I feel the time, yes. I'm your fan. Eight, uh, yeah, I, at four thirty on uh, the twenty eighth of June, we'll be doing a webinar on social and emotional. Uh, intelligence in the classroom, um, and I will be sure to steal an idea or two from your book. All right, and I'm so there to watching you as well. Yay! Thank you so much, Alessandro, and um, big big hug to, yes, and big hug to everyone in Barcelona. You have yeah. a great day. And to everyone who's watched us here today, thank you so much thank for being you. here. I'll thank see you, you next week.
I'll see you next week with a surprise guest, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Bye, Ale. Bye.